their long-term customers. We want to help them engage, become involved in in the events that we offer or have an after hours or um, just become engaged in what the chamber is doing. Maybe you serve on a committee and we want to help their business grow. So expanding their business in any way that they tell us that we can help them. And that's what we're going to try to do. And so those are the, the three main things that we really want to keep a business engaged with and, and helping their business continue and to thrive. And I imagine there are probably a lot of business to business contacts too. Yes, absolutely. That's, that's one of the favorite uh, parts of my job is that when I can help a small business connect with another business and they both get to benefit from that, that's, that's a great thing. With us on the program today, the executive director of the Tri-Village Chamber Partnership, uh, Michelle Wilson, is here. And uh, they have their 23rd annual Taste of Tri-Village, used to be the Taste of Upper Arlington. And that's coming up uh, this week on the 4th. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. I always like to ask people who are out there on the front line, so... How's business right now? How are things going for your members? You know, I think that things are looking up and uh, we haven't we haven't had a lot of uh, concern coming our way, at least of of um, of issues. I think that things are getting better. Uh, I'm really honestly, I we just are it's status quo right now, which is a good thing. I mean, we're, we're growing and, mm-hmm. um, you know, people are excited about that. It's great to make new connections for these businesses, but, um, no huge issues on the, on the forefront at the moment. I mean, healthcare is always an issue for these small businesses to try to offer that to their employees, but there's a few new things on the horizon coming with that as well. You know, I noticed that, um, a, a trend, it seems, for a lot of the suburbs. I noticed this, uh, uh, in the Dublin and Hilliard area, and I, and I think I see this too around the fringes of, of your area too. Um, developers want places where people can live, where they can play, where they can work, and, and they want it all combined in one area. I notice, especially millennials, they say, like to live and work and walk to work and do things uh, in the same area. Are you seeing that trend, and are there any developments in and around your area that are doing that? Oh, yes. It, it absolutely is a trend, and um, there's a, a newer development. It's been established for a couple of years, but they're just getting ready to open a new phase on Fifth Avenue called The View on Fifth, and there's going to be retail on the on the bottom floor and living above, and my goodness, you can walk to a number of restaurants and retail establishments right there. And absolutely, that's a trend. They're on Grandview Avenue. They're in Upper Arlington on Lane Avenue. So, you know, I, you know, millennials, it's great for them. It's great for everybody. It's great for retired couples or people, you know, moving into another phase of life that they can downsize a car and um, save a little bit of money and certainly help the environment. But, yeah, there's lots of that happening. Well, and, and if you think about uh, neighborhoods or, you know, suburbs where you can walk, to just about everything, I would think about Grandview and Marble Cliff and Upper Arlington. Oh, gosh, yes, absolutely. And being so close to downtown, I mean, if people are really up for it, they can ride a bike. It's a mile away. You know, they can walk it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's too far for someone like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can bike it. I'll, but, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll jump in the car. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, me yeah. too. But, you know, you don't have to necessarily fight parking. And that, that's that's an issue, you know, in some of these smaller towns is that it's great to go and visit. Sometimes it's hard to find parking. So it is mm-hmm. nice to live and eat, play, shop, stay in these in these communities where where you are. Once again, uh, Michelle Wilson is here from the Tri Village Chamber Partnership. She's the executive director, and uh, big event coming up this week on the fourth. And uh, once again, uh, it, as we're running out of time here, just go ahead and tell us a little bit about the event again, where it is, and and how people can uh, uh, find it and. And, Great. And everything, yeah. Thank you. So August 4th, Thursday, August 4th, 3.30 to 8.30, Northam Park, the Taste of Tri Village. And we will have a beer garden there sponsored by the Daily Growler. And we'll have lots of local craft beers on tap. That will stay open until 10 o'clock. So if people want to stay after the restaurants close up, um, there will be a couple of restaurants that stay open next to the beer garden. So you can stay for a little bit longer, have a beer, eat some food, enjoy the, the lovely evening. And how can people find out more about the chamber and about the the events in and around Up Arlington, Grandview Heights, and uh, Marble Cliff? Great. Well, the chamber's new website is chamberpartnership.org, and the event itself has its own website, which is tasteoftrivillage.com. Mm-hmm. And I imagine that has all the information you It need. has all of the food vendors and all of our business partners and entertainment schedules on there. Michelle, thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And you've been listening to Columbus Concerns, a public affairs presentation of North American Broadcasting. If you have questions or comments, just drop us a line at 1458 Dublin Road, Columbus, 43215. I'm Mark Noose. Thanks so much for listening. See you again next week for Columbus Concerns.